creating macros is a great way to um, include comments that you type a lot to your students. So comments that you find yourself uh, inputting a lot on every assignment to your students um, easily into Angel and storing them in Angel so you can simply use them whenever you need. To create macros in Angel, go to a piece of content, for example a Dropbox, and click on Settings. Make sure you're on Advanced, and in the HTML editor, click on the new Insert Edit Macro. Click on the New Macro tab, and you can give your macro a name. Make sure it's descriptive, so you know So you'll be able to locate it in the future. You can also organize your macros by in, into categories. So I want to put this in the project one category. If I need, I can click on the little button to the far right hand side to create new categories. Once I've organized my new macro, I'm going to actually place in the text. So So you can type in whatever you need, or copy and paste in what e whatever you need, whatever comment you find yourself making a lot. Okay, I'm going to click on Save. And then if I go back to Existing Macros, it's going to refresh me back to that tab. And I drop the box down and go to Project 1. Here is my general feedback. I can edit the macro by clicking the Edit button. I can even share this macro with everyone and then share it with um, other courses that I have access to. Right now I'm just going to click Cancel. Scroll down and click Save. So even though we created that macro in that Dropbox, it'll be available no matter where we go in the course. So for example, I'm going to go into my Unit 1 uh, folder and I have my Dropbox here. I'm going to go to Submissions view grade delete submissions and click grade next to the submission. Now you can tell the submission is just, just an example, but I'm going to put in my grade and I want to use some of the macros I've created. So I'm going to click on that insert edit macro button again. I'm going to drop this down. I'm going to choose my project one and I'm going to click OK. So there's my first macro. I can click that button again. And maybe I have some other generic macros. So notice it, just by clicking that macro, clicking OK, it automatically puts that text. So this is especially useful if you have a very long comment that you find yourself typing over and over and over again. This is a great way to store that in Angel and not have to do all that ex extra typing. Once I'm done, I'm just going to click OK. And that feedback has been sent.